or have trouble staying asleep, wake up tired. You are not alone. Almost 39 million men and women live with sleep apnea, and it's not a problem only impacting adults. Up to 5% of kids also suffer from it. Even infants can have it. And just like adults, kids with sleep apnea often go underdiagnosed or even sometimes misdiagnosed. To do their best here and here and here, it all has to start here. But is your child getting enough sleep? Infants need at least 14 hours of sleep. Toddlers, 11 to 14 hours. Preschoolers, 10 to 13. If your child is in elementary or middle school, they need 9 to 10 hours of sleep. And teens should aim for 8 to 10 hours. If your child is not getting enough Zs, sleep apnea could be to blame. We know this from studies. We know that children with obstructive sleep apnea are anywhere from three to five times as likely to perform poorly academically, uh, up to seven times as likely to have behavioral issues at school. But it is often misdiagnosed. Sleep apnea, especially in our school-aged children, can look exactly like ADHD. A report from the American Sleep Apnea Association suggests that as many as 25% of children diagnosed with ADHD might actually have symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea. And the longer it goes untreated, the more complicated their symptoms can be. Obstructive sleep apnea causes snoring, daytime fatigue, and difficulty concentrating, mimicking many symptoms of ADHD. But if sleep apnea is left untreated, it increases cardiovascular risks. Someone who's going to be 27, 28 years old and now struggling with health problems that could have been prevented, you know, that's a real tragedy. That's why knowing the difference can make all the difference. Most importantly, most kids don't snore. So if they do on a regular basis, that's not right. Talk to your pediatrician. A correct diagnosis will involve an overnight sleep study. Doctors say the first line of treatment for kids is often removing their tonsils and their adenoids.